Hi guys, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be testing the new Fenty Beauty Skin Tint Stick. I'll also be doing an eight hour wear test. If that sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. I have the new Fenty Beauty Skin Tint Stick to share with you guys. This is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Stick Blur and Smooth Tint Stick Foundation. It retails for $35 and comes in 25 shades. I picked mine up in the shade 21. I didn't swatch this in store because they did not, in my Sephora, they did not have them on display. But I picked up the same shade I have in the liquid version. And in this, I'm 21, so I'm hoping that the shade translates to the stick foundation because otherwise, I have no clue what shade I'll be in this foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. The packaging looks kind of cheap, I'm not even gonna lie. The packaging is, it's kind of cheapy for $35 and you only get nine grams of product. The package is, I mean, it's cute, but it's given cheapy. And that's probably because this foundation packaging is 100% recyclable. This is all the product you get in this foundation stick or skin tint stick. That is not a lot. I feel like if you're gonna use this every day, you'll be out in no time. For comparison, I don't have a lot of foundation sticks in my collection, but I do have the one from Huda Beauty. It's the full filter foundation stick. And this one retails for $39 and you get 12.5 grams of product. And I'm just gonna hold them up side by side so you can see the drastic difference in the amount of product you get for the price. If you end up liking this product, I can see you running out of it like really fast. So according to Sephora, it is a light coverage, long wear tint stick with a creamy, smooth texture that instantly blurs while melting into skin for a natural finish. It's supposed to have a light to medium coverage with a natural finish and it has a cream formula. The skin tint is also supposed to be crease proof, fade and transfer resistant and it's supposed to blur and smooth the skin with a second skin finish. I'm gonna give you guys a little comparison between the, the liquid formula and the cream formula, well, the shade match here. I'm gonna put the 21. That's what 21 looks like in the liquid formula. And right next to it, I'm going to swatch the stick formula. I think they're pretty similar. The only thing I will say is the liquid version looks more neutral, whereas the stick formula has more warmth to it. So far, I think I'm liking the shade of the stick formula better. Now let's get this skin tint on the face. I've already primed my face, everything I'll use in this video, I'll link it in the description box below, but I already primed my face with a new primer I'm trying right now, and it's the e.l.f. Liquid Putty Primer. Let's go in with this skin tint. So right off the bat, I can tell you I don't like this package. It, it, feels, it feels so flimsy, like it's just shaking around in there, and I don't really like that. <laughs> I don't like it at all. So here we go. Hmm, definitely a thin formula. It feels very light on the skin. Feels a little, for lack of better word, it feels a little greasy. So on this side, I'm gonna use the brush on both sides to blend this in because that's typically how I would use a skin tint. I don't really use a sponge, um, but wow. That's pretty. This did not take me any time at all to blend this into my skin. So this is how it looks on my face. I have it on this side of my face versus nothing on this side of my face. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it so far. It definitely has a natural 
finish it is not glowy so if that's what you're looking for this is not one of the glowy skin tints it definitely has a natural matte finish so this is what my skin is looking like before i apply the rest of my complexion product and guys oh, i think it looks amazing this so far first impression this is so lightweight it feels like nothing like i cannot feel it on my skin and i think the finish is beautiful it has a natural matte finish right now and it's just mm, i can see this foundation being or this skin tint being like perfect for the rest of summer because it's so lightweight and the natural finish on it but tell me what you guys think i think it looks great i think the foundation match 21 it was spot on i think it's a great match so if you have if you already have the liquid skin tint and you're worried about if the shade is going to match i think it's pretty safe to say that you can pick up your um the same shade you have in the liquid version and you'll be good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face off camera and then i'll come back with the finished product so i finished up the rest of my face and now i'm back and this is what the complexion is looking like and y'all i love it i love the way my skin looks and feel right now I've been wearing this for about three hours now and my skin feels so light, so airy, and just, it feels like there's nothing on my skin. And mind you, I'm wearing a full face of makeup. I did my full routine and I still feel like my skin looks like skin and I feel like it's settling very well. You know, my natural oils are starting to come through and my face just looks beautiful so i'm gonna wear this for another five hours so i can get a full eight hour wear test in and then i'll come back and wrap this video up and share my final thoughts your girl is back it's been about eight hours and this is what my skin is looking like i haven't touched my face at all the only thing i did was reapply my lip gloss but everything else is as it was since I first applied this makeup. Now, eight hours in, you see what my face is looking like. I think my skin looks pretty good for it being eight hours in. I've been out and about in this 100 plus degree weather here in Houston. And girl, my face held up so well that I cannot even complain. To be honest, I wasn't expecting anything less because if you've tried the liquid version of this Fenty Beauty skin tint, you already know that it wears pretty well, that it's lightweight on the skin, and all that good stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now is review the claims of the skin tint and let you guys know if it does what it says. So this skin tint, as I mentioned earlier, is supposed to be light to medium coverage. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to have a natural finish. Of course, it's a cream formula, but it's also supposed to smooth and blur the skin. It's supposed to be fade proof and transfer resistant yeah i think that covers it now i can tell you right now as i was applying this skin tint it definitely smooth like my skin looks really smooth it definitely blurred the skin natural finish i would say it has a natural matte finish and as far as it being transfer resistant i'm gonna test that on camera with you now because i haven't touched up my skin at all I don't know if it's transfer resistant just yet. So what I'm gonna do right now is blot the areas that I typically get shiny, which is like my forehead and, you know, my nose. She's looking a little, you know, shiny or glowy. Not bad at all, but I'm gonna blot those areas just to see if I get anything on my paper towel. It says transfer resistant, not transfer proof. So I did find that, you know, yeah, you can see that. You can see that right there that the 
makeup transferred to the paper. I don't expect my makeup to not transfer at all. So the big question for me when I saw that Fenty was releasing this skin tint was, what's the difference between this cream formula and the liquid formula. I honestly don't think that there's much of a difference except that one is liquid and one is cream. The main difference and the only difference I can think of between the two formula is that the stick one has just a little bit more coverage to it because it's easier for you to get more coverage from a stick formula than it is with a liquid formula. Immediately out the gate, I got medium coverage from this skin tint versus when I use the tinted liquid skin tint, that one, I have to build that up to get to like a medium coverage. But the stick version, immediately out the gate, you can get medium coverage and if you want, you can try to build it up even more to get like a medium full coverage. I can't say that you need both of these skin tints. If you want a more light or shared to medium coverage that you would pick the liquid version. And if you want a more medium coverage skin tint, you, you will pick the cream formula. Besides that, I feel like this cream formula played very well with all the products that I used today. I, I tested out a few new products and I think overall my skin looks very beautiful. Right now, I love the way my skin looks even more than when I first applied this because now it's like really melted into my skin. It's really looking like skin now, even with the oils and everything. It's just beautiful and I can see myself wearing this for another four plus hours and it would still hold up very well. I want to say this is a 10 out of 10. The shade match is good. The formula is good, the word time is good, everything about it that I've tried so far is good. If you already have the liquid version, you don't really need the stick version. There is not, like I'm telling you, there's not much of a difference. So I would say if you already have the liquid version, Skip the, skip the cream because it's not gonna make that much of a difference. If I wanted to get a medium coverage from the liquid version, all I'd have to do is apply two layers versus one and it will get the same look, the same type of finish, and even the same wear. For me, I'm gonna say that I prefer the cream formula because I like more of a medium coverage and it gets me it gets me where i want to be without having to layer up or build up the product so for that reason alone i would say that i prefer the cream formula over the liquid those are my thoughts on the new fenty beauty skin tint stick Thank you guys for spending some time with me today. If you made it this far in the video, do subscribe and give the video a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.